Welcome to the Sykes & Company PA video blog featuring Alan Sykes. What, what are some of the worst situations that you've seen or the worst advice that people have gotten before they start to work with Sykes & Company? Well, fr frankly, more so than the bad advice, which does occasionally, we, we, we do occasionally run into that, it's mostly they just simply don't have a clue of where they are and cash is so tight in the pharmacy industry now with margins being so so razor thin and they just cannot figure out why they can't pay their wholesaler bill twice a month or weekly or daily in some cases do people know how much flexibility they have to negotiate um perhaps more favorable deals with their wholesalers if they're paying consistently twice a month well, if they're paying twice a month, they're generally probably in pretty good shape. If they're paying daily, that's an indication they're in horrible shape because mm -hmm. their wholesaler has put them on a daily basis. He doesn't trust them. He doesn't want to give them any credit. In a lot of cases, if they're ordering $5,000 of, of inventory that particular day, they might make them pay $5,500 to, to, to pay down on what's already owed to them. So um, that's that's an early indication of what shape they're in by how frequently they're paying their wholesaler. Now, on, on the reverse side of that, the ones that have no debt and are in the best cash position can get the best deals with their wholesaler. Typically, if they pay daily, they can get the, 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 the largest rebates, the largest discounts, um, and uh, the, the, the pharmacy industry and the wholesalers in the industry there are as many different ways to pay bills, to get rebates, as any industry probably I have ever seen in my in my entire accounting career. Um, it is very convoluted. It is very complicated because in a lot of a lot of cases there are buying groups that will serve between as the intermediary between the wholesaling company themselves and the pharmacy, and actually they 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 buy through that buying group and get further additional. Or rebates through those buying groups, but it's a very complicated process of how to maximize that um, in order to optimize it without question. It's, it's, it's not simplistic. But it sounds like it makes a big difference if you have some oh, of the yeah. cash flow, you know where you stand, you can really, it makes a big difference in terms of what you're paying out, doesn't Look, it? The single most important aspect of a pharmacy is what their gross margins are net of rebates. Once they know that number and have comfort with that number, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, they can then work to correct problems or take advantages of opportunities they have. But if they don't know, and if they can't maximize those margins, they're at a distinct disadvantage vis-a-vis um, -vis their peers, without question. Is there any other, since we're talking about bad advice, uh, really the bad situations you've seen when you've come to work with a pharmacy, or on the converse, big turnarounds you've been able to do? Well, we have been able to, fortunately, on the big turnaround situations, we've been able to fortunately use some very high-end, um, sophisticated, defined benefit retirement programs to put very large amounts of money into uh, boomers' accounts that, that are debt-free, that have very large taxable incomes, and wipe out their tax liabilities, and you can carry it back and get refunds. Uh, on a success basis, we've 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 done that in, in, in a multiplicity of, of arrangements. Um, so, uh, and obviously, when the Section 179 depreciation was five hundred thousand dollars a year up till last year, and it's considered to come back into play this year post election, uh, some will say that opportunity may present itself again. So, again, if you know where you stand, then you can plan for where you want to be. But if you don't fundamentally know where you can, where you stand currently, then it's very difficult to plan for where it is that you're heading um, and, 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 and make sure that monetarily you can be in a position to optimize all the aspects of that, including the after-tax uh, effects. Thank you for joining us today. If you want more information or have any questions, please feel free to contact Allen directly.